There are things that I miss doing, I miss them oh so much. They seem so distant from the day to day. Like writing songs and scripts and things, I feel so out of touch till today. Gotta find a way. So my friend Alex Bragdon, more popularly known on the internet as Alex Bragdon, brought up the point that we don't often talk about why we might want to play the game. The game, of course, being a matter of optimizing your video upload time and your length and the frequency of your postings and asking people to like and subscribe and spending time on your thumbnails and generally optimizing and collaborating with people and trying to make yourself super ridiculously internet famous for a particular unknown reason. And Alex and I have both talked at length about why that is a terrible idea and discussed some of the reasons why it generally makes people miserable. That uh, somehow the idea of making round pegs for round holes is less fulfilling than you might otherwise think. But Alex brought up a very good point. He said, well, why did we do it in the first place then? Right? There have to be some positives. Uh, <laughs> Which is a valid point, and I was thinking about that myself. Alex mentioned the friendship was a big part of it for him, and that, uh, you know, part of playing the game and chasing after collaborations and doing all that sort of stuff is a way that he ended up making a lot of friends he would not have otherwise met, and that certainly is true for me as well, but uh, the big reason why it'd be super cool to be big and internet famous is uh, resources. I have ideas, guys. I have things in my brain that I love to produce. I don't have the time or the resources to do it, I don't have a camera crew. I don't even have all the equipment that I need. I, I need like a jib and a crane and someone to tell me what a jib is and how to operate it. But even beyond that, I think there's a bit of a psychological thing that while it's relatively easy for me to make these sort of journal entry, low effort stuffs uh, on a frequent basis, um, it'd be very, very difficult to pour my heart and soul into something. Thank you. And. Uh, then uh, to, to try and go, uh, okay, let's put it out there and see see if uh, if uh, I can get the same 200 of the 6,000 people who are subscribed to my channel to watch it. It's an arbitrary thing, it's not necessarily real, uh, but I want to make the point that it's distinct, I think, from numbers, um, strictly speaking. The idea that uh, so many people viewed a thing, uh, you know, it could just, compared to some other thing, is not really the point. The point is, when you make something, you put something out there that you've put thought into and you think is some sort of artistic expression, um, pomposity aside, which I hope is a word, um, you want to feel like you've reached a significant number of people and if more people reacted and responded favorably then you feel like you've connected with more folks and then you feel more justified in continuing to make that stuff again. Now I know for myself that I'm not remotely ready to start doing that sort of thing again, that going to conferences and trying to collaborate and comment on important people's videos and god forbid even locking down the shop. I mean really this is just the most boring thing. You've got to work really hard when you do this. I've got to, I've got to do various jump cuts and other things. Just to try and keep it interesting. And really, who has, who has time for any of that? But um, I think it's important, at least for me, to sort of recognize like what are the things that actually drew me to this medium in the first place. I want to kind of get back that uh, oomph um, because it's. Uh, I, I used to do uh, community theater shows. Um, all the time, and I, I used to do the back-to-back, -back. and uh, if any of you have done community theater, you know that like the first week after you're done with the show, you're really, really depressed. You've been working really hard at this thing, and then it's just over, and you don't get to do it again, and even if you end up doing it again, you'll never do it with the same people, it'll be a totally different experience, it's just, it's done. Um, and so what I would do is that I would just sort of chain these, and I would actually overlap, so I'd be in rehearsals for the next thing uh, before we'd even close the other thing. Um, and what I discovered is that on the rare occasion when I wasn't able to do that, I'd just get depressed and I'd not do a show. And then the auditions would come up for the next one, I'd go, eh. And the next one, eh. And then eventually I'd do something and then it was another streak again. Um, but you lose that understanding of just what it is that you love so much about the medium when you are out of it for a long period of time. So I want to try and get that back. That's, that's, that's what I have to say. There's no, there's no good closer for this. You are making round pegs for round holes. Uh, is that a phallic? That's a phallic metaphor, isn't it?